Rapping the food chain, rapping with the rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins are rapping. Yo guys, what is going on Timpers sir? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool looking retro logo in Photoshop. Um, I did tweet out a picture of one that I already made. Um, so if you want to if you want to see like behind the scenes um, of what I do, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Timpers HD. Also, I did tweet out saying um, like this tweet if um, you want to be featured in the video so yeah a uh, big shout out to these people on the screen right now if you guys want to be featured as well make sure you follow me also guys like the video can we break 100 likes that would be amazing subscribe if you are new uh, let me know what video you'd like to see from me next and yeah let's just get straight on with the tutorial okay guys so we're here in photoshop um, i actually just recorded the whole thing but i didn't record the screen that's what happens when you don't record in a long time uh, you forget stuff like that but yeah, it's, it's fine. It doesn't actually take that long, but you can come out with a really nice looking logo just by a few easy, simple steps. So uh, yeah, that's what I made just then. This is what we'll be making, something like that. So if you just go to File, New, uh, we're gonna open up a 500 by 500, 500 document, uh, Create. And I've got the Div Divinity Pack open, which is a free pack. Um, you guys can search it up and get it. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Google and type in Vaporwave and just get a background. I'm going to get this one because it's very high quality. Control V. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to decrease the size of it. Like so. As you can see, it's very big, so it's pretty high quality. And I'm just going to put it directly in the middle. Like so. Uh, next thing we're going to do guys is add some colour corrections, so just go to brightness and contrast, literally just copy what I'm doing here, bring that down, bring it up, um, curves, bring that up, bring that down, exposure, bring up the exposure a bit, bring up the offset a little bit and also the gamma correction, and then also you want to bring up the vibrance as well to about six and then I'm just going to group all that together <clears throat> and then add a new layer I'm just going to add a spot of white at the top and then bring down the opacity of that um, so the next thing we're going to do we're just going to add like a grunge over the top to make it look a bit more retro so in the divinity pack I've got this dust and scratch um, image you guys can also if you don't have this pack you can search it up on Google just type in grunge overlay, scratches, stuff like that. I'm just going to put that right there. And you want to set it to lighten. Let's bring down the opacity of it a little bit. And then I'm just going to bring them both below the colour corrections. So yeah, that's looking really nice so far. Um, and we're just going to go straight into the text, which is like the main part of it. Um, so you just want to Go to the text tool, type in your name. So I'm just going to type Timpers. And you can use any font you want, really, that looks retro. Um, so, like a brush font. But I'm just going to use this, which is uh, it's like slanted. You can do that by going to Control T, Control Shift Alt, and move it to the right. Give it a nice uh, slant to it. So, next, we're going to double click on the uh, text layer, go to Gradient Overlay and gradient I'm just going to add a new gradient so I'm going to start off uh, black, in fact white at the bottom then move over a little bit and I'm just going to make it purple and then after that I'm just going to add a black uh, once I'm just going to change the direction back to 90 Copy, just copy what I'm doing guys, it does look a bit complicated but it will come out looking very nice. Next I'm going to add a blue and then I'm going to bring this and add a white and then the final one I'm going to make black. You just want like a, give it a metallic looking um, effect and yeah it can come out looking very cool. Like 
back. So, so yeah, um, and then I'm going to add an inner glow. Make sure it's blue and set the blend mode to overlay. Then right click, rasterize layer style. Then you want to add a new layer. Control click on the text that we've just made. Select modify, expand and expand it by uh, four. And then on the new layer, press alt backspace to fill it in and bring it below the text. And you've got a nice outline. And we're going to, want to add, we're going to add effect to this. So double click on that layer, go to gradient overlay. And we're going to start again. And this time I'm going to go from blue to purple. Um, so, sort of that sort of colour. And then a little bit after that, add a light blue, like so. And if you just click on the purple and click again over here, it just copies and pastes it and do the same with the blue. And just keep doing that throughout, alternating between the two. So, uh, and you can change the direction of it if you want. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And as you can see, you've got a really nice looking metallic retro style text. And you can group them together and press Ctrl E. And then double click on the layer, go to outer glow and make sure it's blue and set it to color dodge. And then, oops. And then I'm going to press Ctrl T and just rotate it a little bit. Next, what you want to do is Control J to duplicate it, and we're going to add it. A, we're going to add a 3D effect. So uncheck green and blue, so it's just left with this red. And if you press the right arrow, arrow twice, um, we're going to start adding this uh, 3D effect. So then you want to press Control J, do the same thing again, but on green. Right arrow twice, Control J, and do the same, but on blue. And you've got a nice 3D effect going on right there. And you can do the exact same thing with the whole entire layer. If you just go to group them all, Control J, Control E, <clears throat> um, and then Control J again. You can do the exact same thing that I showed you then. And add a nice 3D effect to the whole image. I'm just going to do red and blue. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it looks um, really good. Um, and then the final thing, I'm just going to merge everything together. And you can add a cool wave effect. Um, so if you just like highlight a small area that goes all the way across, Control T, stretch it out. Then if you go to filter, distort, uh, wave, and copy down these um, settings, or you can just go crazy and do whatever you want and then press ok it just distorts it a bit and it gives it more of a retro style like it's corrupted uh, it looks really nice um, and yeah you can add some more color corrections as you can see if I go back if I go over to Twitter this is the one that I made earlier you could add like a play button at the top uh, that looks really cool and then maybe another te uh, texture over the top like an overlay um, and some more color corrections but that's pretty much it guys for the logo uh, i hope you did enjoy if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you are new let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next and yeah with that all being said i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one